Come Tuesday night, CBS News will be counting the millions of votes that we Americans will have cast for our favorite candidates. In the meantime, our Rita Braver has already done her count of the campaign dollars the candidates have spent. We're on our way to vote! Yeah. We're on our way to vote! It's been the most expensive presidential election in history. A whopping $2.4 billion, half of that raised just by Barack Obama and John McCain. It will double uh, the amount that was spent in the 2004 presidential elections and will likely triple the amount that was spent in the 2000 elections. Sheila Krumholtz is executive director of the Center for Responsive Politics, which tracks campaign funds. These are our front lines in this work to categorize uh, contributions, expenditures, lobbying. How are you, sir? Pretty good. What's your name? John Schaefer. Good to see you. Individuals can contribute up to $2,300 to a candidate in the general election. I won't raise You might be surprised to learn that as a group, retirees are the biggest givers. Not so surprising, lawyers and people who work in finance also give generously to both sides. Barack Obama is setting records for attracting small donations via the Internet. And it turns out he's also a big man on campus. The University of California and uh, Harvard University professors and staff are also among his top ten uh, donors. Well, thank you so much for your support. Obama has become the first major party nominee since public financing of campaigns was enacted in 1976 to turn down federal funds. Hey, guys. He has raised $640 million in private money. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. John McCain has raised only $360 million, much of it used in the primaries. He took public financing for the general election and is supposed to spend only $84 million. The Republican National Committee can spend more on his behalf, but he's at a distinct financial disadvantage. Do you think any candidate will ever take public financing again? I, I think public financing for presidential candidates it will, is dead as we know it. I'm Joe the Plumber. I'm Joe the Plumber. This, they feel, is their best message. They Evan Tracy, who runs the campaign media analysis group, says Obama has outspent McCain two to one on TV commercials. You know, in essence, from an advertising standpoint, John McCain has been in a shouting match against a man with a megaphone. Get settled in. We're just about ready for the opening kick. Obama's the first nominee to embed ads in video games. For the past 20 months, I've traveled the length of this country. And there was that infomercial this past week, which drew almost 34 million viewers. If you just take his advertising last four months, it's more than Apple computers, it's more than Burger King. So he is a major brand at this point. He's the biggest celebrity in the world. They call themselves Mavericks. Whoa. The two campaigns have aired more than 642,000 TV spots since June. And while most Americans think the ads serve a useful purpose, a new USA Today Gallup poll finds that 70 percent say too much is being spent on presidential campaigns this year. I don't think too much is. When we look at the research on this, uh, more money in campaigns almost always has a positive effect. People get more involved. People are more informed. University of Wisconsin political science professor John Coleman says that voters are giving more because they believe this election really matters. People don't give money simply because they have nothing better to do with their money. They give money because they feel there's something at stake, that something important is happening. But here's something to think about. In 2004, the presidential candidates spent $5.87 per vote. This year, it's expected to hit almost $10.